Okay, the next command is lsusb. Lsusb. This may or may not be installed. Yes, it is. It's installed. So it's, it's a detecting it as a Logitech device. Uh, it's also telling me that I have a, uh, a Logitech mouse that's branded as <laughs> being Hewlett Packard. And it's also telling me my keyboard is USB, but it's telling me that bus 02 device 7 and uh, ID number 046D081A, which is that, the camera ID, if you want to look at the compatibility list, if you have another camera, if you want to look at the compatibility list, they have a list of devices, actually on this page, Linux UVC driver and tools, and they have device ID there, this is um, www.idesonboard.org uh, slash uvc. And so th what, there's, what this compatibility list is, if your camera has the device ID of any of these, they support it to the extent explained on the page <laughs> over here to the right and for several pages. Okay, then the next uh, command, uh, this Lars says, is, okay, let's see what modules are loaded. And I think I already know that... Um, UVC UVC video is loaded, but I'm going to do this anyway. So I'm going to go LS mod means list the modules like LS USB is list the USB devices. LS mod and uh, a pipe there, and I, I really I'm not very good at grep. Whenever I've made shell script with grep shell scripts with grep, and I've always had to cheat and look, <laughs> find out an example and then kind of uh, massage it to mine. Let's see what we got here. We have, um, I'm going to compare this to him, a UVC video, which he has. He's got Compat IO Control. I don't see that. I see Video Dev and I see Video for Linux Compatibility or something like that. But I don't, that's for this one, and then uh, I don't see that I have video for Linux 2 and I don't see a USB core but why would that show up there there's some kind of matching between USB cord I'm not sure okay and since the camera also has a built-in microphone I'm not quite sure I think some of the problems I have here or some of the things that aren't showing up now are going to be resolved by what happens up here. Let's see. I might have got myself in trouble. <sighs> what is all this garbage? There's some kind of error? I, I don't get it. And I don't know if I'm going to be snookered out of this because what I did is I, um, I think it was in this, I was trying to uh, shave off maybe the last 10 seconds of a video I took on this Logitech yesterday, and there is a, a program called um, ASF or something, yeah, ASF bin, and um, I had to disassemble a dead package and put a standard C++ a newer version of that in user lib and make a sim link to live, S, uh, live standard C++ SO.5 to that version that I extracted and put in there and I'm wondering if that screwed things up but this is a GForge? I, 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 don't, I don't get it Maybe I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, now there's the next thing. Uh, here, uh, if this doesn't work, then I'll know. This is getting some kind of... Uh, we're getting, I guess, the webcam tools code from using some kind of downloading tool called Subversion from this place. And so I could still copy it. And I guess I'll just have to go over here. And I am root, so I'll be able to do this. I got edit and paste, and I will. Just enter. 
subversion is in yeah okay subversions in there it's getting all these things that works a lot like CVS so I got the same version I had last night I remember this now the next thing I need to do and this is something to pay attention to okay when I first booted into the computer uh, it said that I was using Ubuntu uh, and that gave me a put you know put a kernel number up there I'm gonna close this for now because uh, I know this works and uh, but the way to know what version of the kernel you're running is to use this command here which I will copy it's uname minus R so I go edit and paste and I you ask me that tomorrow and I won't even remember and I got 2.6.32-24 installed and so it's saying that uh, what I need to do is uh, use the aptitude command but I, and get the the, the Linux kernel source, but instead of putting two X's there, since mine is 32, I'm going to replace those X's with 32, and it tells me they're keeping this pretty much up to date, so I pasted that in, and I'm going to change this to 32, and then I'm going to let app do its thing. And now, the kernel sources are 65 megs, I'd say this take about, oh, well, so, okay, it's telling me seven minutes. Um... So I still I don't have that other terminal open. Basically, uh, we're not going to necessarily compile the kernel. We're going to compile a driver for the kernel. I almost think that this is not necessary because I already have the driver in there. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Uh, didn't damage anything yesterday and actually didn't update my bootloader so it's not a complete kernel compile it's just, it's a module compile and I wish I knew how to do this oh six months ago when I lost <laughs> uh, I was just trying to compile SMBFS and I lost um, uh, I ran out of space and so when I compiled the kernel it updated put a new kernel in boot but it couldn't compile the modules, so I had no modules, and it updated my grub for me, and uh, deleted all the old modules, or maybe I did that to make space, and it ended up I had a kernel with no modules and no RAM disk, and I couldn't boot in. So that just trashed one of my... <laughs> I had to reset up or something, I think, to, to, to get it back, or maybe it's one of, one of my secondary systems. So you live and you learn, I guess, by doing all this stuff. Now, uh, let's see. Okay, he's got one more command here that, that'll be useful, so I might as well just go through that. And again, I'll be root. There's a lot of Ubuntu users out there, so a lot more of these guides are putting sudo in there, except for this this guy who's using more of a standard thing. And some things are going st said in these, in these guides, you kind of have to know what to do. And, 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 of course, I know to go in as root first before I start doing anything. You know, these may be readable, I'm not sure, but the only way to know for sure is that um, I am root. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is what he says to do. He says cards. Right? There we go. So, we have a USB audio device as a result. It says it's high speed. Capable webcam viewer is look view. It's going to take a snapshot, pretty uh, we download, install look view from here. So he's talking about look view. I wonder if I could app get that. But I want to make sure. I don't even, you know, I think I have the driver already. I'm almost ready to say the driver. And I'm wondering, I can't do two sessions of apt at the same time. So it says I got three minutes left on that download. I think the tool they're having me build is just basically, um, if I skip a step, I could be confusing to someone else. I probably should go through all these steps over here on the right, but I am just wondering. I don't, I'm not quite sure if I have all the modules loaded that I need. I, I just don't know, but I would say 
Uh, I could try it. I could try VLC. Uh, they won't let me run as root, so I'll have to go back as Jack. SU Jack. Okay, uh, let's try VLC. And I'll know whether I'm getting anything. So, let's see. Uh, open a capture device, and in this case, again, these are the devices that uh, Lady Hawk or Hawk Lady or Hawkeye or Hawkeye Lee uh, <laughs> told us about to run so we know what our device numbers were. Most of the time, these are going to be it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with the audio right now because I don't want to really... And see, up there it says Video for Linux 2. And let's see if I could... Convert? Uh, let's see, uh, let's see... Uh, I'd rather go with MP4. Uh, destination file, I'll put over here. Home jack, I'll just do. Uh, there, I have a test MP4. <laughs> MP4, I'll just over, I'll call it test one. And maybe I've already had this thing working, I just didn't know it. Who knows? And save and start. Now the deal is, shouldn't I be able to see that? And I don't know why it's got one hour, 50 minutes, and 55. It's doing something. Um, open I, God, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Um, play it? My God, there it is. Okay, so um, I didn't need to compile my kernel. Nothing. Uh, here, here it is. It's working. <laughs> There's the back of my camera. Okay, so now it's it, yeah. It, it, none of this even matters. This this source here that I'm downloading. I guess if you have a kernel that's older than um uh whatever they got here uh two six twenty six, it's just gonna work. Not too bad. Okay, uh, there it is. Uh, it's blurry, but you know, I can move it around. <laughs> there it is. Hopefully, it'll actually show up as something. Okay, maybe let me just stop this. And I wonder if I've made an MP4. So uh, yeah. So let's stop this. Quit. And um, okay, the, the, the did I get the? Uh, What's the deal? Uh, something weird's going on here with my. Uh... Okay, so you know, I got the, there's some there's some package some, some something's broken about one something's broken about one of my packages but but I but I won't get into that right now. Okay, let's go to my home directory and see I, VLC's off so nothing's streaming or being saved there. That's not my home directory. Uh, hopefully my YouTube videos yes it is up. So there is going to be no interference for anybody trying to get in here. I probably should call my boss pretty soon. Uh, and um, test one, well, it's open it. Okay, it's doing something. Now, here, yeah, this is where I was yesterday. I don't have any sound. Now, I have a clue as to what to do about this. And uh, I, I don't see this this guy here. The problem is sometimes these uh, when you go back and you write it down later, you, you miss something. <laughs> the only reason why I like doing this stuff on camera. Let me explain. Okay, so uh, what clue do I have? Is it playing? Or do I? Or is it just some kind of still photo? Or is it just what is it? It's not moving. I'm not able to fast forward. Well, this is caffeine. Caffeine sucks, and it doesn't close. It sucks, and it doesn't close. Let's try VLC. Okay, there it is. It's running. And see, what what isn't clear to me in VLC? VLC is a lot better. VLC is a lot a lot better player than it is a um. Now we gotta stop this real quick. 
but it doesn't do anything. Uh, VLC is a lot better play, uh, video player than it is a um, straightforward uh, recorder, in my opinion. Uh, let me stop.